Hello everybody, it's Michelle and I've got a table setting to do for you guys today. It's been a really long time since I did a table setting. You guys may remember a couple of years ago I posted a video of a table setting using black plates made into Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And that idea was originally the idea for teddy bears. And then when I had that red polka dotted napkin that just looked so much like Minnie Mouse, I wanted to go ahead and do it as Minnie Mouse. And I'm just now getting around to doing the teddy bears. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to be using gold. I kind of wanted to imply sort of a tan or light brown teddy bear color. If you can find the plates in that color, go ahead and use those. But I just had these on hand, so I want to go ahead and use these. And I'm using the dessert plates today. And I'm going to be using a two and a half inch circle punch for the ears. And then a two inch scallop circle punch for the insides of the ears. And you can use the full size plates if you want to. If you have larger circles, you can trace around a can or something to get that and cut it out if you want to. Or you could use the larger circle dies. So each plate at your place setting is going to use two plates but with paper plates they're pretty cheap you can get them usually for a dollar at walmart is where i get them you can get them at dollar tree and i like to use a plate just like my main plate for the outer part of the ears that way it matches exactly and I just cut that rim off so that it was easier to get it into my punch. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out a circle using that. And actually, I'm going to back up a little bit so that I can get two out of this. That's going to chop off the edge of my circle. But that's okay because I'm going to end up trimming that off a little bit anyway to make it sit the way I want it to on the teddy bear's head. And that punch kind of makes it a little bit misshapen. So I'm just going to go over that with my bone folder. You won't have that problem if you use dies. They'll come out perfectly flat. So you may want to do that. And like I said, for the outer part of the ears, I like to match the plate exactly. But for the inner part, you can use whatever you want to. And on my gold teddy bear, I'm going to be using some cardstock in almond cream by basil so I'm going to go ahead and punch out two of those and then I'm just going to glue these right into the center of the gold ears and I really like to use the scalloped circle on the inside because I think it makes it look like little fuzzy teddy bear ears. I think it's really cute that way. And this one, I'm just going to line it up center of what would be a complete circle if I had punched out a complete circle. And then, like I said, I'm going to cut the bottoms off of both of them anyway. That's just going to help me get it behind the teddy bear's head the way I want it to so that it sits back far enough like that. I think that is so cute. And previously when I made these I used hot glue. You can do that if you want to. Any kind of glue that you want to use is really going to be just fine. But I think in this case, I'm just going to use a couple of foam adhesive tabs from Dollar Tree. And these hold really strong. And the thickness of those is going to help accommodate that little bit of indention from behind the way that plate is shaped. So that will go just right in there. And the first ear can go anywhere you want it to. 
along the circle and then just space the other one. Actually, I think I want that cut off a little bit more. To make a little bit shorter of an ear. Now let's see how that looks. And I think that is much better. So we'll just put our other one on here, about right there. And that is all there is to it. You've got a simple teddy bear plate for birthday parties, baby showers, anything you want to do with them. I think that would be great for a baby shower. And I'm going to show you at the end how to dress up your teddy bear for the baby shower. But first I want to do one more teddy bear for you guys and I'm going to do it in dark brown this time just to have a little bit of variation I thought that would be really cute so again I'm just going to cut the edge off of the plate so that I can fit it into my punch so like I said this was my original idea before I did the Mickey and Minnie Mouse ones But I came back around to the idea of the teddy bears after I did my punch art teddy bears recently. You may have seen that video. And if you're doing these plates for a baby shower, some of those punch art teddy bears would be great also for shower decorations around the tables and things like that, even on the cards that you send out for invitations to the shower. So for my brown bear, I'm going to use the gold for the inside of his ears. So I just went ahead and got another plate. And punch out two circles. Scallop circles, rather. And again, I'm going to flatten everything back out with my bone folder. I'm going to adhere my little gold fuzzy parts onto the brown ears. Okay, and I'm going to cut this off. I'd say you could safely cut probably up to a third of the ear away without messing up the shape that you want to end up with. And you can put them any way you want to on your teddy bear, but that's about the size that I like showing out from behind mine. So again, a couple of foam tabs from Dollar Tree. And you could pretty much get all of your supplies at Dollar Tree and have a very inexpensive set of party decor. Okay, so like I said, the first ear can go anywhere you want it. Then I'm just going to kind of line it up with this one. And you can see there my brown bear's ears are just a tad shorter than the gold bear. But they don't all have to be exact. It's going to be cute and adorable either way. So there we have our brown bear and our gold bear, and I think they are both so cute. So now to dress them up for a baby shower, I thought we would give them some little bow ties. Just like the red and white polka dot napkins that I used for my Minnie Mouse plate and put it up here on top of her head, I want to use the pink and blue for my bears, but this time I'm just going to let them rest here on the edge of the plate to be a bow tie rather than a hair bow. And if you don't know how to do the bow tie napkins, I've got a video for that as well, and I'll go ahead and link to that so that you can go back and watch that. It's a very simple napkin fold. So there we have our teddy bears, and I didn't want to stop there. I thought they were so cute and adorable and I just kept making bears. I came up with a couple more that I wanted to show you guys and in this one I used the black 
with gold inside of his ears to make a black bear and I thought that would be really cute for maybe a party for a boy something woodsy something about you know bears in nature rather than teddy bears and actually our local county high school's school mascot is black bears so this would be good for something like that but I'm not going to give him a bow tie because I think he's cute without it. And also, I went ahead and did one in all white for a polar bear. And this would be really good for any party in the wintertime or even a Christmas party. And I used the same white plate for his ears. And I used also the plate for the fuzzy part on the inside. But I turned it backwards so that it was... The matte side rather than the glossy side showing so you've got a little bit of differentiation there even though he's all white and if you wanted to at a Christmas party you could do a little bow tie for him in red and green Christmas napkins or something like that and I think he would be so cute and finally you guys could add a larger plate in the same color if you wanted to do that to create a complete teddy bear and I think that is absolutely adorable this would be so cute for baby showers isn't that adorable I just love that let me show you the polar bear and the black bear so here's the polar bear with the larger plate for the body I think that is so cute and I will get you guys some photos where I can zoom out a little farther and get the whole thing in the shot. But I think it's so cute. Originally, I didn't want to do this because I thought the two white plates, that's going to look too much like the snowman table setting that I did. But with those ears, it totally changes it. And it looks just like a polar bear. And here is your black bear. And you could give him a little red bow tie. A little red and green plaid Christmas on the polar bear maybe they are just adorable so you guys have got to go make some teddy bear table settings these are just too cute leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about them I hope you are as excited about these as I am I'm just in love with these teddy bears and I've got another idea coming for you guys with this same kind of idea as well. So be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below. So be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.